So, uh, leading manufacturer of writing printing paper are facing the heat of the virgin pulp price hike in the international market. You as a consumer, how do you take this matter? What are the reasons you see behind the international price hike and what impact do you see in Indian market, sir? Basically, I think this uh, waste paper uh, banned by China on getting a kind of a, with a lot of waste in the waste paper has affected the Chinese paper production. I, I definitely feel so. Uh, they started getting a lot of pulp market and China as you know when they get into the market they can come in a very big way very big way so the demand for pulp went up naturally the prices of pulp went up but one good thing in the whole process is whenever the imported international uh, pulp prices go up paper prices go up it's always you can see the trend is always like this Whenever the international pulp prices go up, paper prices go up. That has helped the industry now. So now what all of us are doing, for example, in our own plan, we try to maximize uh, more DIP pulp. We try to push more bagas pulp. We try to make more our own wood pulp. We try all possible things to increase our uh, uh, pulp production. Uh, that has uh, helped us to increase our, not only our pulp production, that has helped us to increase our uh, green energy gen. Whenever pulp goes up, production goes up, our green energy generation also goes up. So well, this is how we are managing. And I am also, we are also playing with the product mix such a way that we can avoid using purchased imported pulp. These are the two things we are doing now. Okay. See, uh, as prices are going upwards, sir, so how long you see this price will really continue? Upward. You know, normally paper industry, the, the, the lean period is normally starts after the school season. June, July onwards till about Deepavali, which is about November, is supposed to be a lean season for the paper industry. But this year, thanks to so many international effects like what is collected about China and paper production, etc., the demand during the non-peak season is good. Today, market is very good, which means uh, it's a good sign for the industry. So, I expect uh, till the next uh, June, things will look up, I think. I think it will continue to be good, at least till the next uh, June, which is a good season period. I, I, feel, I feel so. I feel so. Okay. So, is Shashi Shai is planning any, uh, any price hike? On writing printing paper? Not only us, you know, we all watch the market and, you know, please also understand our cost of production is also going up. Uh, all chemical prices are going up, hydrogen peroxide, caustic soda, coal prices are erratic. Sometimes goes up, sometimes up, but in invariably it's going up. Mm -hmm. uh, all our input prices are going up. Therefore, we are looking for opportunities and then uh, irrespective of whether other paper mills rise or not rise the price, we will continue to look for the market. And then we feel there is a good scope for increasing the prices. We definitely see so. Okay. Are you are you planning to take any ex expansion right now? Yeah, we have recently concluded uh, two major uh, projects. We have two units. One at uh, Erode in uh, Tamil Nadu. The other one is Thirnalveli again in Tamil Nadu. In both the plants, we have done some uh, expansion projects and development projects in the last one year. So we have completed all the projects. We have spent more than uh, about to 200 crores okay. we have spent the, for all these on stabilization mode now I think we will wait for around 6 months then we take a view okay. what next we should do and we have all the mills like including Sestai have made good profit the very time for us look for some investment but what we will do we have not yet uh, taken a decision yet mm -hmm. still the, today we are making about lakh and 10,000 tons and I expect in Euro in Euro, in Euro unit I expect it to go to lakh and 30 lakh and 30 lakh and 30 with 5,000 tons in the next 1 or 2 years Similarly, in Tenavelli, we are making about 60,000 60, tons. Today, we are making about uh, 70,000 70, we are making. And I will go to 90,000 tons in the next one year. Next one year. See, majorly, your uh, writing printing plants are depend on the uh, virgin pulp source from the out of India, sir. Is there any way to reduce the dependency on the virgin pulp, sir? Can it win, do some mechanism to develop in India so that the, you, the, all the people will receive the virgin pulp in good quantity at lower price. Is there any mechanism, sir? No, no, no. I, I don't think uh, you... you some, some sort of commercial wood cultivation. I understand. I am not saying. But I don't think uh, our pay, printing and writing paper mills mm -hmm. are dependent on purchased pulp. Very few. Very, very few. Very few. They add only 10 to 15 percent depending upon the quality requirement. Nobody can today depend on purchased pulp 
and be in the market. It's impossible. It's just impossible. Because prices are so erratic and going up and down. It only depending on purchase pulp, imported pulp is very, very dangerous. They will not do. Take our own case. We use 10-15% of purchased pulp, imported pulp, depending upon the product. We don't otherwise use it. Uh, people are moving more to, towards waste paper now. A lot of dinging plants have come. Waste paper is a big market. Mm-hmm. And uh, people like us who have got already uh, our own virgin pulp paper, uh, pulp, pulp production capacity, we are working hard to increase the pulp production. Mm-hmm. Again, to sum up, depending on imported pulp for making normal printing and writing paper, just will not work. Okay. They will all change out waste paper or try to get more indigenous wood pulp or somebody who is having extra capacity, they may take from them. They will not uh, depend on import pulp anymore. It's just not possible to survive. They will close down. They will close down. They will close down. Sir, uh, like tissue paper market is increasing very much in India and the peoples are adopting the hygiene habits and they are taking tissues as a, in a regular life. So most of the paper mill like Century, Orient also in the right. tissue uh, production. So are the Sheshashai is planning for any tissue production? Yeah, we, are coming at, we are looking at various options. One of them is also tissue. I don't know why. But, but we are looking at options. We are not a decision. It may take on six months from now <laughs> to make up our mind. We are looking at various options. Maybe printing and editing expansion. But yeah, printing and editing paper is also not a bad idea. Mm-hmm. After all, that's also having a good market and uh, I see a lot of growth in that area. Even the people are telling me about electronic media, consumption, no, no, consumption is not coming down. In fact, consumption will go up, I definitely feel. And the variety of paper printing and the variety that we make, that is more important. Like for a copier today, selling at a huge, uh, uh, good price and good market. Therefore, uh, we are looking at various options but not yet decided. Tissue will be one, 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 one option. Can you give some hint about your expansion in after six months? How about, uh, but which segment you are So, you know, again, you see, we have only two areas to go. Newsprint is very difficult to go. Packaging, already big people are there. We need to be very cautious on packaging. Uh, our route, I think, will be printing and writing a tissue. You are what can to put new paper mill or expand in the existing paper mill? We will we'll only expand our existing paper We have enough capacity expansion possibilities in the units. Uh, See, most okay, man, how much paper you produce going for the out of Indian market, sir? What is uh, your export percentage, sir? Uh, and what uh, percentage are going to increase uh, in coming years? Our export percentage today is about 15% of 15. our total production, 51.5. Okay. Which will be the case with most of the people. And please also understand, export is not remunerative. Export uh, is good for us to be get an image of my, my company is also exporting. It also gives you tremendous pressure on maintaining a right uh, quality paper. It uh, increases your uh, concentration and your focus on quality. That is another major point when it comes to export. But export percentage, uh, we are not doing for commercial purposes. It's more a... Uh, uh, image more as a, a different kinds of reasons and we keep watching the price for the ex- export price today is good basically because of the exchange exchange rate that we will continue to export the okay. poor, i sir, don't see a big jump in export in the coming years okay. so yes, more and more paper paper mills are expanding their capacities okay they are doubling tripling their capacities now the production is so good but maintaining the raw material is a very is a scary how do you take a this, this uh, matters, sir, because uh, high capacity means high capacity stock of the raw materials. Uh, in, in situation, raw material is a fluctuation market. How do you, t- how do you maintain that this supply, sir? Yeah, there are two major uh, inputs for our industry, or rather three, out of which I would say two are more important. One is wood, other one is agro, and third one is waste paper, as all of you know. Wood, you must see the way the large wood-based mills are planting trees now. That is big, big way, very big way. Therefore, in fact, uh, wood supply, I think, will, can, will stabilize. It should not be a problem for expanded capacity. Mm-hmm. Whenever people expand, they plan at least three, four, five years ahead and start planting the wood. Therefore, uh, wood will be a major source and will continue to do well. And as long as we take care of the agricultural farmers and pay them good price, we are, we are safe, we are quite good. As long as uh, when, when you try to reduce the price a little too much, then the farmer goes away from wood, then getting him back to grow wood may be very difficult. Agro is a big challenge. While uh, sugar mills are struggling, you know, sugar mills are doing, not doing all that well, the crushing has come down. And even if they crush, they produce bagar, they use it for power generation, not for uh, selling it to other paper mills. Uh, or uh, bagas uh, availability for paper industry may not 
substantially increase in the coming years. But Bagas may be uh, difficult, I think, in my opinion. Agro growth may be very difficult. The next is uh, when the printing and writing paper or when the virgin pulp based paper production goes up, like what is happening in India today, waste paper availability will go up. When you make a good quality uh, first grade uh, printing and writing paper or a packaging paper, your waste paper availability will go up. The, the, the awareness of the collection and recycling waste paper has increased. Therefore, wood and waste paper will be the future raw metal for our country. Uh, agro, I think, will stay where it is. I don't see a major growth in agro, as, 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 I, see, as I see, personally, I see. In a short span, government is planning to ban the single-use plastic. Mm. Do you think uh, this with this ban, mm. the alternate market or paper market will grow, converted paper market will grow? Definitely. That will give, give the... Undoubtedly, it will grow and we have to improve our quality. See, today, you go to a market to the shop, they give you a plastic bag. You find you are just not able to replace it so easily. Why? Because you are so user-friendly and it has got the strength, inbuilt strength, uh, waterproof. So, we, if we improve the quality of our uh, paper for uh, bag making, I think we've got a huge market, we've got a huge market. I think that'll happen, that'll happen. Many people have started looking at the quality of the paper that ultimately goes for uh, uh, making bags.